Hello, good morning. I'm back. It's good to be here. Hello, Sid. Good to see you. Good morning. How are you doing? You know, I'm okay. It, uh, you can hear it maybe a little bit still in my voice. I thought it was spring. I thought we were through the bugs, but no, it's, it's, they're out there for you. Oh, yeah. They're out there for you. So, you know, we got the electrolytes and the vitamins and all the things. So if that's something you and your family are going through right now, I see ya. I see ya. <laughs> but I'm here, and uh, I, those moves yesterday, Sid, those salsa moves. Took a lot out of me in the Come end. Come on, the I hits. Didn't, I didn't, didn't know. It was a little too much Am for I television. Am I encouraging him too much, Kevin? Oh, Sorry. CRTC oh, the CRTC calls. <laughs> many, many CRTC complaints, but also many requests for more. Sure, yeah. It went both ways. It did. My hips don't lie. Never have, never <laughs> will. <laughs> yeah. It was, it was a lot of fun. Tam did a great job, too, in the salsa she, oh, segment. Trust me. With, I was just getting to Tam. With the bachata. And then when the music eventually started playing, the pros were great. Sorry, bachata? Yeah, what is bachata? It was amazing. Bachata is the type of is salsa. The oh, yeah. Okay. It's the forbidden dance. I <laughs> no, it isn't. But it was great. And uh, uh, the Salsa Bachata Festival at the Sheridan this weekend, it was... Fabulous. You, you would have been in your element I, yesterday. I, I, I know. I'm so sad that I, I missed it. I, no, anyway, it looked great. Uh, but I was, you know, of course, every time you're not here on the show, you feel like... It is true, um, right? But anyway, I'm glad to be back. Thank you for, for giving me the day. You look, I know you feel a little less than 100%. You yeah. always look like a million bucks. Well, thank you, Sid. There's people that make that happen. <laughs> From yesterday to today, this is a right. big transformation. A Thank yes. you, Chloe. A Thank you, Angela. Too. Yeah. Uh, good. It's great to see you. You too, Sid. We're going to have some fun today. Yeah, big show. Um, the one thing that hasn't changed, whoever's in, whoever's not 100%, this solar eclipse is coming, folks. It's happening Monday, April the 8th. Not only the Jays home opener, we're going to be at Rogers Center that morning, Breakfast Television, but the solar eclipse Ooh. is scheduled for April 8th. A new report out of Sunnybrook looks at the traffic risks due to a solar eclipse. They're going back to the last one in 2017. According to Sunnybrook Hospital, traffic risks increased 31%. Ontario has 400 daily collisions on average. The hospital predicts, they're predicting 125 extra collisions wow. on Monday, April 8th. Stay home. Like on the nose. Like I thought it was just some warning, hey, be careful. No. Don't look up. No, no, Sunnybrook's saying, we're, this is going, this is what we think will happen on April the 8th. Is this science or stupidity? Meredith well, Shaw. Sunnybrook, and Sunnybrook knows, you know. They would know. They, they would know. Is this science or stupidity? Look, we humans don't like change. Like, look, when the daylight saving happens, everyone, there's more risk of health uh, concerns and accidents. Anything that changes, we humans don't adapt very well. So, yeah, I mean, I guess it's, I guess it's humanity. <laughs> which could be uh, uh, akin to stupidity. Yes. I don't know. But 100%. no, it, it feels like, you know, you tell people not to look up. What are they going to do? Look up. Even when we're talking about the eclipse, we're showing everyone looking up. Shouldn't we be showing people looking down? Yes. Aren't we trying to, everyone's wearing the glasses and looking up. You want to go viral that day? Show a video of yourself not looking up. Because every other moron on social media is going to be doing the exact same thing as you, whether they got glasses or not. But this sunny yeah, thing... this is serious. You can't is, do that. Like, Don't they, look up. They're insinuating. No people are driving around yeah. town. Now, maybe if you're on the Gardner on April 8th, you got nothing better to do if you're around that construction. Right, you're stopped anyway. But, but this is the insinuation, because this is not a smart driving part of the country. We all drive around it. Idiots everywhere. Everyone's people are going to be doing... Oh, I mean, not you. Dark. No, are not you kidding? Me. I want to be in my bunker. Are you kidding <laughs> <laughs> I'm not well, messing around with this. Well, but here's the where we want to be looking up on April 8th is Rogers Center. Yes, Rogers Center. We want to be looking up all the way over that home run line. You know what I'm saying? Looking runs. up on April 8th. Bringing it all together, Meredith Shaw. So listen, again, April 8th, just, just be careful and use, use some common sense. Yeah. Which isn't that common sometimes. Great to see you. You too, sir. Great to see you. It's 7 o'clock. You're watching BT.